Okay, so guys, recently I was thinking if video animation could be possible using Corel Draw, and I kept on trying, I kept on practicing, I kept on trying, and this is what I came up with. So by the end of this video, you should be able to do that because I'm going to show you the steps and processes I used to achieve that particular video you just watched. So stay tuned, it's AY's tutorial. So before I get started, um, I would like to give you guys a bonus. And this bonus is just uh, my way of showing you um, appreciation of saying thank you to you guys for being with us. So to get this bonus, you need to watch this video to the end because in the middle of this video, I'm going to show you I'm going to tell you what you're going to do to get this bonus. So if you skip this video, you might not, um, you know, might not get um, the um, the steps and uh, the steps to get to get this um, bonus. So guys, I would advise you to watch to the end. So let's get started with this uh, video animation. Okay, so let's say if a company gave me um, a job that maybe the company is into selling and buying of all these let me say instruments like a talking drum, a drum set and a loudspeaker for example so and the company told us to create a video ad that is a video animation for their product maybe they want to make a video as they want to make um, a, a campaign outside a campaign online so we are told to make a video ad so how are you going to do it so now I'm going to mix a video ad using Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint so if you are not aware of Corel Photo Paint so Corel Photo Paint is also under your Corel packages because all these Corel packages contains Corel Draw itself, Corel Photo Paint, Corel Wizard, Corel Captures, and so on. So they are under your Corel Photo Paint. I mean your Corel packages. So now to design, I mean to create this animation, first you need to change your page units to pixels, just like this. So and I'm going to work with this dimension 1024 and 540. So this is the um, page page I'll be working with. So let me scroll down. You reduce this and this also. So I'm going to add straight to my Corel Photo Paint, just like this. So if you open your Corel Photo Paint, this is what you get. And mind you, if you are using any version of Corel Draw, be it the updated version, the latest version. You got no problem just open your Corel photo paint and Corel draw then you follow the steps i use right there so I'm, i will be mentioning the tools or what i did or what i'm going to be doing so you won't make any mistake so you just create a new click on the new um button right here so it's going to bring out this dialog box then so for this background color you can choose any color you want but i'm leaving it black so this page i'm going to leave this in pixels and you see it has already selected um my page dimension so the resolution is 300 so this creates a movie so if you have been following me on my channel you know i've done so many animations tutorials so this number of frames is the same number of objects you have in your corridor template so let us say if we have like this one now we have like three objects right here so your numbers of frame will be three right here so i'm just going to leave it at five because we're still going to add more frames to that I'm gonna maximize it and reduce this. So this is how your template will look like. So let us head back to Corel Draw. So I'm gonna double click on the rectangle tool to add this shape right here. So I'm gonna right click, stick up the outline. I don't like working with outline. So I'm gonna give this, let me say, just any color of your choice. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give it this yellow color, just like this. So first, I'm gonna use this talking drum as my as my first um, product. Yeah, my first product. So now I'm gonna back click this to this shape. So for this your first product, you need to choose a transition. So transition is just like a movement you apply to an object, an effect you apply to an object, to an object. So for this talking drum. Can decide to choose any transition is either you choose 
you, you make the drums to come from up to this present moment or from left to right or from down to up so any transition you want but i'm going to choose from left to right so i'm just going to leave it right there this present moment then i'm going to click on this object so i'm going to copy this ctrl c to copy it then i'm going to go back to the core photo paint then i'm going to go to edit then paste i'm not going to press ctrl v it won't work so you just paste it as new selection just like this and as you can see then you press ctrl out to remove the mask if you then remove the mask the, this frame will apply on all other frames just like this so but if you remove your mask by pressing ctrl r so it won't apply as you can see it won't apply on all other frames so i'm going to move to the next frame so now i'm going to move this token drum forward a little bit just to make a movement just like this i'm going to press ctrl c to copy and this i'm going to paste it as new selection So I'm going to press the control out to cover the mask. Then for this, so I'm going to move it to the present, to this moment here. Yeah. yeah. So, and mind you, this video animation, the more your frames, the smoother your video animation. Because it determines on the frames you have on your core photo page. If you have like 300 frames, the smoother your animation will be. So, the more your frames the more your video is going to it's going to be okay and very smooth so let me move this to the present movement like this so this is okay this is where i want the drum to stop i'm going to copy it and paste it here as new selection just like this so now let us check our video animation you see so that is how the um the token drum it come it come in that's how it come to come in so i advise to stay um to watch this video to them because i'm going to show you how you can apply a frame delay when you want it to come in and when you don't want it to come in so what particular time you need to set maybe you want it to come in after 20 seconds or after 300 seconds so it determines on your change so you just watch this video to the end you're going to get everything so now let me move it to the last frame okay so next so you are done with the transition of this token drum so now next it remains a text that like this a text showing reference to this particular product that is a name of this product and the price and a little description showing reference to this particular product so that people can know what this product is all about so i'm just going to click on the text too then type the name of the product let me just say token drum here yeah, just token drum And just give it a can draw it's a font called called franklin franklin gothic demi just like this so i'm going to reduce the font to let me say 14 so i'm going to bring it to this side so you can give it any color of your choice but i decide to leave it like this for this purpose of this tutorial so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to move this downward Okay, for the description so I'm gonna give it some, some description but I don't really know um, the particular description to give it but I'm just gonna write this so just to say um, this is the description for example just make sure this description is very short and catchy and I think this is too too much it's like this I'm gonna reduce the size to 7 let me give it eight or nine. I think eight is okay. So now you've you've written the name of the um, product, the description of the product. Now it remains the price. Yeah, the price of the product. So I'm gonna drag this like this. That's rectangle. So I'm gonna click on the shape tool to give it a smooth edge, just like this. So I'm gonna give it um a blue color. So mind you, you must not make your try your um your design that is your video animation you must not make it too color and um, just give it many color just give it a cool color combination as you can see yellow and blue so i think that's okay 
So for this text, you can give it any color you choose, but I think that's okay. So now I'm gonna give it a price. Let me just see. Maybe I give it. Um, let me copy this. So maybe I give it. Let me see. Twenty-five dollars. So maybe that's the price I. Giving it, so I'm gonna bring it right here. So I'm gonna reduce this just like this. So I'm gonna align this by letter C to make it align to the center and letter E align to the center also. So I'm gonna give this text white color just like this. Then I'm gonna press Ctrl G to group it. So all these are just the information about the product. So I'm gonna show you how you can make transitions to it. So I'm gonna align everything and press the letter L to make everything align to the left. As you all know the rules of color design you must make your alignment very okay. So I'm gonna press shift P, sorry, I mean shift A to make the space right here and here to be equal. So I think that's okay. So now I've written the text, everything about this product. So now I need to apply a transition to all these text right here. So you can give it any transition of your choice, just Use the same steps you the same method you use in applying transition to this product. So, for example, maybe I want this product to come from let me okay, maybe I want this product, I mean this text to come from the right to the left, and this from down to up, and this from left to right. So, how can I do it for this? I'm just gonna move it like this one, two to the left to the right, and this one, one, two to the bottom, and this one, one, two. To the left so now as you can see this one is at the right so i'm just going to be moving it to the left one by one so as to apply the transition so i'm just going to apply i light everything press ctrl c to group it then i'm going to head back to the color photo paint just like this so i'm going to paste it paste as new selection i'm going to press ctrl out to take off the mask and i'm going to add new frame then just a five so as you can see this is how it looks like so you're going, you're going to head back to corel draw then you're going to move this again you know you moved everything two times to that certain position you're going to move it to this side again one this one one and this one one it depends on how many times you need to apply it or how many times you wish to um, make that transition longer so let's going to paste this as a new selection Move the mask just like this. I'm gonna head back to the second, the, the next frame. So this the last one, which is like this, this one upward, and this one like this. As you can see, it has returned back to its, to its previous um to its normal position. So I'm gonna copy it, then paste. And paste as new selection just like this. Um, then you press Ctrl R to take off the mask. So I'm going to show you how the transition will look like when it begin. Let us see. This is it like this. You see? So that's how the transition will look like. But we are not done because it's, it's um somehow you know this is only one frame. So we need to apply some other frames. So I'm going to apply different transition and I'm going to show you how we're going to change the color of this um drum just like this. So let me duplicate. Let me take this off. Let me duplicate this just like this. So I'm going to extract this, then delete. So I'm going to use this drum just like this. I'm going to bring it right here. So I'm going to zoom in. So this will be different from the first frame we did. So let us see. I'm going to power clip this into the shape like this. I'm gonna move it to this side. So I'm just gonna give it a little shadow at the bottom so as to make it realistic. So just like this. I'm sorry, that's not okay. So I'm just gonna give this. I think this is okay. No? Yeah, 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 this one is okay. 
I'm just going to drag this downward. Any, any, I'll just give it a shadow. Just making your shadow is okay. So I'm going to increase this. Just watch on this step. The, the process I want to do here. I'll increase this. I'm going to click finish editing object. Then copy. Then go to the color photo paint. Then paste as new selection. Just like this. I press Ctrl to take off the outline. I mean the mask. Then go back again. Then reduce this. Okay. Then press Ctrl C. Then paste as new selection right here. Then press Ctrl R to take off the mask. Like this. And also always remember pressing that Ctrl R. It's going to remove the mask of your. Um, object you copied right there. So I'm going to press Ctrl C again. So I'm going to paste as a new selection. Press Ctrl Alt to put that line. Let me add new frame. So now for this, so I'm going to move it to this side, to the right a little bit. Press Ctrl C. So you can apply any transition of your choice. So, but I want you to focus on this particular frame. I want to change its color to show you one step on it. You need to know about this particular frame. I'm gonna move it like this. So I take this the last one of this. I'm gonna press Ctrl C. I'm gonna go to the color photo paint and paste at as new selection. I'm gonna press Ctrl Alt to take off the mask and go to the next frame. So now, this is where I'm going to add the text, description, and um, the price. So I'm going to take it right here. I'm going to copy and then paste it right there. I'm going to take it down. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. So that's okay. So now, I don't really know the name of this drum, but let me just give it um, a complete. Complete. Let me just give it some complete drum set. Let me just give it like that. Let me reduce it. And for this, I'm just gonna give it this one available. So available in different. So just like this, I'm going to reduce the font size to let me say six. So now I'm going to bring it downward. Just like this. Now let me take it. Let me take this one upward because I'm still going to add some resources. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, yeah. Remaining the transition. So I'm just going to bring this from up. And this one from down and this on left so i'm just gonna copy this ctrl c then i'm gonna paste this just like this so i'm gonna move to the next frame then mind you for the bonus so if you made it to this particular point then congratulations for the bonus all you need to do is just comment down below video animation so um i'm going to show you I'm going to send you the link for the bonus. The bonus is just 60 free fonts. There are, there are different types of fonts in there, like 60 free fonts. I'm going to send it to you on if that is if you comment video animation under the comment section. So that's it, guys. So let's continue. So for this, I'm just going to bring this downward, this upward, and this to the left. I mean to the right. So I'm going to copy. I'm gonna paste as new selection and press Ctrl R to take off the mask. Go to this side, run this to the particular position, and this and this. Just like this, and press Ctrl C. So I'm gonna paste as new selection. I'm going to press Ctrl Alt to take off the mask. So I'm going to add a new frame. So now, here is um, 
what we need to do. So now, the description is a complete drum set available in different colors, and the price is trends. Okay, let me say trends five dollar. Let's do it like that. So I forgot to change the price. So we need to change the, this drum color like this. So let me add some stuff just like this. Let me zoom in. So I'm going to click on the shape tool to make the round curve. So I'm just going to copy this particular color and this particular color and I'm going to paste it to this shape I just created. So I'm going to remove the outline. So now, so for this, I'm just going to copy, Ctrl C. I'm going to paste as new selection and press Ctrl V. Let me control R to take off the mask. Then now, so now we said available and in different color. So we need to add like three colors just to show um to show your audience that it is truly available in different color. So how are you going to do it? So we need to change um this drum color. So I'm gonna go to effects, I'm going to go to adjust, then view slash saturation slash lightness, or you press control shift to you on your keyboard. So now it's going to bring out this dialog box. So I'm just going to move it to this side. So now you need to change this color. You can either change it to green or red or blue, any color of your choice. So let me just move this slider. Let me move it forward just like this to change it to green. Okay, it's changed it to um, purple. So let's just leave it like that. You just want to change the color of the drum so i'm going to click finish editing object just like this so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it right here so i'm just going to copy the color of the drum set so i'm just going to copy paste it right here so i'm just going to copy this one ctrl c and paste it in your color photo paint just like this and press ctrl out to take off the outline i mean the mask then the next one you need to change it um to another color just like this adjust the new search option so just gonna move this just gonna move this slider So I'm just going to move it to this side and you can see this is green color so I'm just going to press OK then I'm going to click on finish editing object just like this then I'm going to copy this copy and paste this one so I'm going to highlight it and press shift A to make the, um, the space between them the same thing so it won't look um, on OK so I'm just going to copy the color so mind you, I'm using the eyedropper tool, eyedropper tool to copy the color from the drum set. Sorry. So I think let me zoom in. So that's okay. Then you need to copy it. You press Ctrl C, then go to your color photo paint, then paste as new selection. Then you press Ctrl R, take off the mask. So now let us go back. So now let us check it like this. As you can see, so to make this your video animation better, you need to have you need to add frame delay. That is, you must set your frames to um, a particular time. You must not allow everything to be fast. You know, you must allow your audience to read what you've designed, what what you've created. So now, for the next frame. I'm just going to repeat the same step but because of the time so I'm just going to skip it to the end to the certain part where I'm going to show you how to add the frame delay so you make your video animation better okay so let's go down now I'm, I'm done copying everything I'm done applying the transition effect so now I'm at the color photo paint so we need to export our projects we need to apply some effects with so I'm just going to click to file I'm going to click on save as 
so it's going to open a dialog box just like this then you're just going to click on give animation and just name it let me see um video animation then you press save then you click on save so it's going to bring out another box where you're going to apply your settings to it so just click on ok at this side so it's just going to bring you to another place so it's loading so now once we've gotten to this side give it nine animation option so this is where you are going to apply your effects to all these animation so now for example let us let's go to the preview to see how our animation will look like if expected so you just click on play do like this and you can see it's very fast so we need to reduce um the um let me say the the time time it takes to to come in and go out everything so i'm just going to scroll down to this place a frame before the last frame for example for this talking drum the frame before the last frame i'm just going to go to just click on it and go to the frame setting and you apply let me see 80 you click on apply all then go to the drum set frame then a frame before let me click on this before this color before the two the three colors just click on the click on 80 apply 80 that is 80 seconds that is after 80 seconds to move to the next frame so hope you understand and this also 80 so after 80 seconds it will move to the next frame then for this 80 just like this then click on apply all in this 80 so just go to the preview and check what we've done so just click on play so for that um for this drawer for this speaker right here we didn't apply any of it so what we need to do just go to this side a frame before the last frame and just click on leave it on 80 click on apply all so um where um for this let me leave it as 20. so for this color right here i think it needs to be um uh, to be to be to be to be at 100 here just to make it stable don't it's too fast at 80 so i'm just going to give it at 100 and this also at 100 and you check it and click on play so i think that's okay so for this let me leave it at 50 so if you want to apply any frame delay to your effect your transition just apply it a frame before the last frame the frame before the last frame because that's that is you are telling the um the software maybe after 80 seconds it should move to the next frame so don't just apply it on the particular last frame so so it won't destroy your work it won't make your work very okay just apply the frame before the last frame and click stop then click on ok and right there you click on ok so it's gonna save your animation so let's go check it out in our browser so for people who are thinking so i exported my project as an as, as an give image so how can i make it as a video all you need to do is just to take this your video animation um image that is your give image then you take it to your software that is your editing software then you can add a music to it so if you add the music to it it's, it's going to bring your um your animation to life then you can add you can also add some transition effects sound effect like a wolf sound if a product comes in and if just add music or sound effects and don't overdo it just add music and the background the sound effect then you make a video animation then you export it then to become video okay guys so let us check our animation and see how it looks like so i'm going to drag it to my firefox browser 
as 90s. So as you can see how it looks like a small mouse low but trust me if they spot it in your editing software to be okay and nice and some people wonder why don't we export it in video format if you export it in video format we need to get the option um to add a frame delay like we did that is we add like 80 seconds before the next frame so but for the video animation for the video option we won't able to add it we just export it directly and it will be so fast so if and you can also if you export it directly it will be so fast you can also include that video to your edit software and make it slow make it slower then you get your video animation so thank you guys thanks for watching and for those that have not subscribed to my channel yet do me a favor by smashing the like button and subscribe to our channel right now by clicking on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you my name is ay goodbye see you next time